Hello and welcome to another Rome 2 Unit Spotlight. This episode is focusing on the free update and Daughters of Mars DLC pack, giving you some insight and history of the units. First up are two Scythian units. Scythian Amazonian Riders are an average missile cavalry unit available to Royal Scythia. They have a longer range than all horsemen, but are weaker in melee and have lower health stats. Amazons were a nation of all female warriors in Greek mythology. The word Amazon is derived from amazos, meaning without breast, connected with the tradition that Amazons had their right breast removed or burnt off. It is possible that this happened so that they could steady their bows and draw their arrows straight across their chest. Scythian noblewomen, a missile cavalry unit, are a cheaper version to their male counterpart with increased range but weaker health and defense stats. While Scythian men were away fighting or hunting, Scythian women would have had to be able to defend their homes capably. During the time that the Scythians advanced into Asia, there was a period of 28 years when the men would have been away on campaigns for long periods. During this time, the women would not only have had to defend themselves, but to reproduce, and this could well be the origin of the idea that Amazons mated once a year with their neighbors. Gladiatresses available to Rome have increased melee attack stats over the gladiators, but have less health and melee defense. Their first known appearance was at the games organized by Petrobius for Tiridates I of Armenia. From depictions, it appears they fought bare-chested and rarely wore helmets, no matter what type of gladiator they fought as. Spear gladiatresses are slightly different as they have a higher melee defense stat and higher base morale than gladiator spearmen. Septimus Severus banned female gladiators around 200 AD, which later proved to be ineffective. The most convincing evidence for the existence of female gladiators is a marble relief found in Halicarnassus and currently on display at the British Museum. Hex bearers are available to the Swaby faction. These screaming women have a new active ability called Curse, which reduces the morale of nearby enemy troops. Another fitting unit to be added for the Swaby tribe's fear factor. The women of the Germanic tribes knew that those without swords could still die upon them. As a result, they were more than capable of protecting themselves and their families. Many even held positions of power within their tribes. The priestess Veleda of the Bructeri lived in a tower by the Lippa River and was worshipped as a living goddess. She was so powerful that even envoys of Rome were not allowed in her presence. Kimbri bow women are a cheap but effective bow unit. With increased range and missile damage, they will provide some early skirmishing damage for the Swaby. They are armed with spears as a secondary weapon, which means they are incredibly tough to beat in close quarters combat. With high health and defense stats, you get these women into combat to respond with their ammo. The Kimbri fought the Romans on numerous accounts, each time coming out victorious. The first encounter with the Romans saw the Kimbri fall back. Rome, however, was not going to allow enemies to escape unpunished and set an ambush in waiting for the tribe. The Kimbri became aware to the plan and slaughtered the Romans who were waiting for them. The tribe migrated all the way to the Iberian Peninsula and back again, eventually making their way over the northern part of the Alps. In 101 BC, the Battle of Vercellae saw the annihilation of the Kimbri who got slaughtered by Roman forces killing approximately 140,000 and capturing about 60,000. Kushite shield women available to Egypt are a hard-hitting offensive spear unit. Use rapid advance to get these women into a fight with enemy cavalry, using counter-cavalry tactics to finish the job. The Roman push through Egypt put it on a collision course with the Sudanic powers of the southern regions. Kushites were under the command of Queen Candace. They conquered Syene, Elephantine and Philae and overturned statues of Augustus. As a result, Rome dispatched troops under Publius Petronius to confront the Cushites. The Romans pushed all the way to the Cushite capital of Napta, however Petronius deemed the country unsuitable for further operations. There was no decisive clash between the Romans and the Cushites. The Romans were brought a bundle of golden arrows from a Cushite envoy saying, the Candace sends you these arrows. If you want peace, they are a token of her friendship and warmth. If you want war, you're going to need them. Fair to say, negotiations eventually ended with a peace treaty. That's it for this unit spotlight. We hope you've learned something new about the ferocious women warriors of the past. Tune in again soon for our next spotlight.